Hi there, um, I just want to do a little talk and I think I want to talk about ascension again, you know I was talking about the other day and it's obviously something that happens when you're doing a lot of healing, when you have an unexpected spiritual experience, spiritual awakening. Um, you start to heal within your anyone can heal at any time if they want to you know the only difference really is with awakening you're just choosing to be present you've had enough of the outward noise and the distractions and the games that the system is always playing the system plays a game of distraction and the whole idea is so that you're chasing all the time um, you're consuming and it doesn't bring happiness. You know, whether or not it's a woman you're chasing or a man, um, it, it just doesn't satisfy. And it's endless. And then what, but what it leads you to is it leads you to realizing that, hey, wait a minute, you know, this isn't working. And so the darkness does manifest like, like something Nikola Tesla would, um, used to say, that everything is light, and that's and that, but it manifests through the dark, because the two is one, you see. And um, regarding ascension, back to ascension, that's how you ascend. You basically, you, you come, you come to a point where you realise that it's all just an illusion. It's all just a distraction to, to, take, to take you away from your divinity. And once you've had enough, you will start to be more present. Um, and you'll start to listen to your inner voice and let that lead the way. And you'll start to be more present. And the answers are all within presence. And the answers come when you're not looking for them. Sometimes when you're looking for an answer, it's not what the what your divine self wants to show you. So that's why you've got to be quiet and you've got to be in stillness, because that is the stillness is the divine self. And ascension, what you're doing in ascension, you're ascending and healing and ascending towards that divine self. That's what you're doing. And it's all within you. But I, I guess it's a case of having enough, you know, we've got to seek and seek and seek until we realise that it's just not what we want anymore. And so you kind of give up with that, and that's when you awaken. You know, I do videos on ascension, and I like to show people how to awaken, because um, that's the most important thing. You know, if anyone can spiritually awaken, because we're all one, you see. It's all the same one thing. If you look around, even in this room I'm in now, look around at everything and you'll notice that everything's stuck to something else and it's all connected. It could only be connected like that if it was all one. Right? And so what's really happening is your infinite awareness is manifesting a dream. Right? That's all it is. Just a very physical dream. But the more perfected, it's like computer graphics. You know, they'll get into a stage now where it's getting almost like reality. And that's a reflection of the simulation, of how reality looks physical when it's a simulation. It's just perfected graphics. But it's your infinite consciousness that's doing it. Um, and a lot of what I speak about, you know, I've been watching lately science documentaries um, and they basically say the similar thing. So there's a coming together with science and spiritual spirituality and things that people like me have said for thousands of years. People that were on ascension paths, you know. But the ascension path, like I say, it, it comes, the awakening comes. You wake up when you've had enough. And if you're watching that right now, maybe you've had enough. Or maybe you have to still experience things. 
you know, but it's but then once you reach that point where you've had enough of all the pain and, and people and the reality playing games with you, then you awaken. You know, for me it was a case of I sat down one day and then all of a sudden I had enough. But it was such a powerful feeling of having enough that I just thought I would, you know, let the inner voice come through. And that's what awakening and ascension really is. You're just letting your inner guidance lead the way. You know, and that's the only truth to, to anything. You know, most people are doing things not because they want to. They're not listening to their inner guidance. Most people are not doing that. And if, you know, I haven't got any children, but if you've got children, um, then your kids are going to copy what you do. So you've got to be an example. You know, you lead by example. And that's kind of like what I'm trying to do on this journey is just lead by example. Go within me and not really look for anything. Just go within. And the right people um, will notice you, you know. And the people that notice me on the internet are people that are on big paths themselves. And it's really a reflection of where I'm going. Because everything's a mirror. You know, everything's one, but everything is basically a mirror. We basically perceive what we are. That's why I always say that your perception is your reflection. And regarding perception, that's how the system controls you. It controls people through perceptual manipulation. That's what the education system is about, and that's why what everything is about. Um, and now more than ever, the smart good is getting put out there because not because of global warming or climate change, it's because of the spiritual global awakening. And um, it's game over for the current system as it is, you see, um, because people are, are awakening. And one spiritually awakened person is very powerful. Imagine half the world like this. And that's what's coming. It's going to gradually grow and grow and grow. Um, and that's what's really happening, really. That's why the system wants to stop people doing videos on YouTube and it's anything but it's it's game over. You know, people are waking up and reality will just get better and better because, because the people will demand it, you see. You know, whatever happens in society is always a collective decision from the people. Whether it doesn't matter what it is, if it's even war. You know, wars can't happen without a collective decision of the people. Without enough soldiers, you can't have a war. So everything is our responsibility. We create reality. But anyway, I'm just going to end it there. Thank you much for watching. Thank you.